Welcome to the WP Hub site getting started video. This video is meant to help you get oriented with WP Hub site and all the things you can do with it. It's not an in-depth tutorial on setting up the entire website, but just to get you started with the basics. So before we go any further, I want to thank you so much for signing up for WP Hub site. As you may already know, it's a simplified WordPress platform, um, so it's easier to work with than typical WordPress. Uh, and it's built around integrating with HubSpot. Uh, it's actually complementary to all of HubSpot's hubs and is actually a good replacement for the HubSpot CMS for a more affordable price. Now you've probably already signed up, but if you haven't and you're watching this video on YouTube, then head over to wphubsite.com. You can sign up for a plan there. It's completely free to sign up. Uh, you get a 14-day trial with the Starter and Pro plans. The free plan is free absolutely forever. Uh, so check that out if you haven't already. So otherwise, the rest of this is going to be for those of you who have signed up and are ready to get started with your WP Hub Site website. The very first thing you're going to do once you sign up for your WP Hub Site is you need to log in. So you'll get an email with information about WP Hub Site, and it'll also include a link where you can log in. If you ever lose that email, you can always log into your website from the WP Hub Site website. If you go to our website, there's a link in the top for logging in, uh, right there, login. And if you click that, then there you are at the login screen. And so you can log in there and it'll actually redirect you to your website. So once you log in to WP Hub site, this is the screen that you'll see. This is the main area to manage your site, set up all the configuration, settings, everything you'll need uh, to make sure your site is looking and running the way you want it to. And then also, before we get too much into the getting started areas, the first thing you'll want to do when once you log in is to set up two-factor authentication. That's really important to ensure your account stays secure. Uh, you can access that with this login security link over here, uh, and there's a help article that will help you do that. And speaking of help articles that I'm going to be referring to a lot in this video, you'll see this getting started block over here that has a list. This list is meant to go in order and helps guide you through setting up your uh, WP Hub site website. So I'm going to go through this list, but before I do that, I want to go over some of the main parts of this admin dashboard. First, you have the admin menu. That's this part over on the left here. The, this has all the settings that you can change, uh, uh, everything that you can configure. Uh, so you'll probably spend a lot of time going to options over here. And you can hover over a lot of the items and you'll see pop-ups uh, pop out of those so you can access more features in each one. And then another important part of the dashboard is the admin bar. Uh, that's this bar across the top and it will stay persistent across your entire website. Uh, if you're logged into your website, then you're going to see that admin bar, uh, even on the front end, end of your website. Your visitors won't see it, but you will. And you can do quick tasks from here. You can you know, create a new post page, all that good stuff. And you can access your account, which has billing information. And more importantly, also it has the settings for connecting your website to a domain. So before you get started doing anything, one of the main features of WP Hub Site is the fact that it integrates so seamlessly with HubSpot. So in order to do that, you have to connect your HubSpot account to your WP Hub site. So in order to connect your HubSpot account to your website, this bar will help you out. There's a little link here to connect your, uh, to connect your HubSpot. So once you do that, then you're going to be able to take advantage of all the HubSpot features, which are really cool. You can embed forms, uh, a support form that creates a ticket in HubSpot. You can embed meetings. Uh, you can choose where to show pop-ups. Uh, you can show chat flows on your website, live or bots. So you can view lead paths also, which if somebody fills out a form on your website, then that lead will actually be tracked throughout your website, what other pages they visit, other forms that they fill out, any action they take on your website. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is update your WordPress settings. There's a lot of really important settings to set up in WordPress. And of course, there's a help article 
uh, for that. You can access all your settings over here on the sidebar in settings and there's general writing, reading, discussion, all these. And you'll want to be sure to go through all these settings that are mentioned in the help article. Now the next thing after you get your settings all taken care of, you definitely want to configure how your website looks. So you can use the WP Hub site theme and design it the way you want to design it. You can access that by hovering over appearance and clicking customize. That's going to bring you actually to the front end of your website where you'll get to change all kinds of settings and see them take effect in real time. It's really cool. Uh, one of the first things you'll also want to do is create pages for your website. Without pages, then you don't really have a website. Um, just to help clarify some terms that WordPress uses, there are pages and there are posts. Pages are regular evergreen pages on your website like the home page, contact page, things like that. Posts are blog posts. They're usually time bound, they have a published date, and they go in your blog archive. So they function a little bit differently, um, but you can create both in the admin bar right up here. If you hover over new, you can create a post or a page among other things. Uh, one thing to know when you create a page also, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So here's all the here's the new page screen and you'll want to update all the settings. There's a whole help article on helping you put together the page, make sure everything's right in here. And you actually have two options to edit the page. You can use the site builder, which is highly recommended for editing pages. Uh, it's a really rich, easy to use drag and drop feature. That's kind of what makes WP Hub site special. Uh, but you can also use the default WordPress uh, standard editor. And there's a help article to help you get started on the site builder. So if you just click the launch site builder button, then it's going to open site builder and you can see your layouts right here. You can drag modules onto your layout. You can drag rows onto your layout uh, and you can even drag pre-created templates onto your layout. Uh, we're not going to get into the details here. There is a help article that lays out all the details of the site builder. And once you've created some pages and posts and done things like that, then you need a menu for your website. So you can actually create and edit menus under Appearance and then Menus. Uh, you can also access and edit menus in the Customizer. Uh, there's a help article that lays out both ways of doing that, so make sure you check that out. And another important thing that you want to update before you start going too far into your website is the general SEO settings. That's over here in the menu you can update all kinds of different parts of your SEO. Um, that's going to help your website work better for search engines. And there's a detailed help article that goes into absolutely everything you need to know about that. So one thing I didn't cover before about the admin bar up here, this top one, is that it changes depending on where you are on the website. So you can notice I'm on a page right now and there's more options. I can actually edit this page or because this is a site builder page, I can edit the actual site builder page. And then also you'll notice the customize button is here. That's going to bring you to the theme customizer. So you could be on any page of your website, click that customize button, and depending on the section of your website, you can actually customize those. So those are some of the important things that you need to uh, go over on your website in order to get started building things. Uh, you can also play with this template that your website comes with. If you go to your website, you can see um, if you're logged in, you can just click on the site builder link and then that brings you into editing this page. And there you can actually edit and mess around with this page. You can't mess it up. It's just a template page. So uh, play with it, break things, explore, and when you're done you can just delete the page because you're not going to want it on your website anyway. And there's a help article to help you delete those pages and delete any information you don't want. Check everything out, go to your website, check out the front end and what that looks like, and you can always access the back, the back end by clicking your site name right here and it brings you back to the back end. So go out there, explore, check out everything. Make sure you check out this whole getting started block because that's going to have a helpful list of everything you need to do in order to get started with WP Hub Site and build an amazing website. The limits are endless what you can do with WP Hub Site and HubSpot. And then if you need help or have any questions along the way, you can always contact support or access help articles from right near dashboard. That'll bring you to the WP Hub Site website where we're constantly putting out new content to help you 
uh, build better things with WP Hub Site. I hope you found this getting started video helpful, and I really look forward to see what you create with WP Hub Site. Thanks for watching. Bye.